In this series of videos, I will describe the site, building and business characteristics, uniting to marinas and the most important factors to consider for the valuation. Marinas can offer a wide range of utilities to boaters. Providing water, electrical and sewer utilities are classified as full service. It is necessary to have one of the following presents on the slips. Water, sewer, telephone and cable television for the houseboats, electricity for the minor repairs on the boats, bottled gas, gasoline for boat motors, sanitary sewage, and waste removal. Lacking one or more of these utilities is a disadvantage, reflected in the occupancy rates and the rates charged. On-side services. Boat storage is the most common service offered by marinas, provided either by wet slips, open air ground storage or dry rack storage. Boats repair, washing and winterizing are also in high demand. Boats access the building from a channel, where they are moored, repaired, or prepared for the coming winter session. Dry racks are used to warehouse boats. They can be a good source of revenue, allowing additional vertical storage at the side to store boards during the winter when few or no boats would normally be kept in the water. In cases where land costs are at a premium, the potential of dry rack storage can affect the value of the marina and its highest and best use. The quality of the water and the proximity to recreational fishing, near fish, crab or lobster grounds can affect the occupancy rate of a marina. The valuer can check with the wildlife and water quality state agencies the proximity to fishing grounds and water quality. The condition bulkheads, piers, walkways, and slips can affect the value of a marina because it's very expensive to repair these specific items and can present a safety hazard if they are in poor condition. The valuer should be aware of the safety and value issues of all these items. Floating or fixed docks can be found in a marina at different sizes according to the tides, the size of the boats and the weight of transported loads. Floating docks are usually less expensive to build than fixed docks and they better accommodate large differences between low and high tides. The owners of marinas must be aware of environmental regulations and are more likely to encounter related problems since wetlands and marshes are found along the site of the marina. Wetland areas may be the home to endangered species. The availability of enough parking spaces at marinas is important especially during summer and weekends. Two cars per slip becomes an acceptable ration. Many marinas have too many parking spaces due to the overinflated estimates of planning boards. Some marinas are a source for recreation and events. Others are part of a large resort or residential project which offers slips in addition to accommodation. The activities and services provided allow marinas. If you have found this video useful, please like, Share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions.